Welcome to the Kingsford Sliver Flash. I'm Coach Van Dusen. This is Season 20, Episode 31, GNC Honors and Playoffs, Week 2. Welcome back to the Kingsford Flivver Flash. If this is your first time watching or listening, I ask that you subscribe. And if you're on YouTube, go ahead and ring that notification bell. You can also go down in the show notes and like us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. We have all of the social media sites. So let's get right into it. We are going to cover our GNC postseason honors, those players who made the all GNC team, as well as playoffs week two. So let me get right to it with sharing my screen. We're going to start with the all GNC first team. We have Ben Rumpf made first team as defensive back. We have Brody Kopp got an all GNC honorable mention at defensive back. We have Caleb Boone made all GNC first team as a punter. And Carter Kresge made all GNC first team as a linebacker. We also have Diego Preslikowski as a all GNC first team place kicker. And Elliot Johnson made the first team all offensive line. Hunter Mil Bill Green made honorable mention for tight end for the all GNC team. Lucas Tappy made all GNC first team for offensive line and also for defensive line. We also have Nolan LaVarnway made all GNC first team defensive back. And Zach Person made first team all GNC wide receiver. Now let's get right into the playoff picture for week two. All right, first off, we have Kingsford. They won their uh, round one game, 13 to six. And now they will move on to round two. So Ogama Heights came to town last week. It was a shootout and uh, a great defensive battle. Kingsford was able to pull away with a win, 13 to six. So now they head down to Reed City Stadium. That game will be on Saturday at one o'clock. All right, looking around the UP, we have Division Three. Marquette is still alive, and they will travel to Mount Pleasant. That game will be on Saturday as well at 2 p.m. Sault Ste. Marie is hanging tough in Division Four, and they will head to Ludington and play Friday night at 7 o'clock. In Division Five, I have um, both, both games up for our region. Um, we have Kingsford at Reed City. Uh, Saturday at 1 o'clock, we also have Gladwin at Kingsley, which will also be Saturday at 1 o'clock. So the winner of the Kingsford-Reed City game, I believe, will play the winner of the Gladwin-Kingsley game. Looking at Division 6, Calumet travels to Menominee, and I believe last year Calumet beat Menominee uh, in Calumet, so I'm sure Menominee is looking to return the favor. And Nagani will go just down the road to Westwood, uh, to play, and that game will be Friday at 7 o'clock. Division 7, Lance traveled down to Traverse City St. Francis on last weekend and, uh, and got beat, but that was the Hornets' first trip downstate for a playoff game, so uh, congratulations to the Hornets on a good season. Looking at Division 8, Gwen will head to Iron Mountain. Uh, Iron Mountain won their first playoff game by forfeit, so this will only be the second game that Iron Mountain has played all year and they will be hosting the Model Towners of Gwen Friday at six o'clock. And Bark River Harris will take the short trip to West Iron County to Nelson Field and play Saturday at one o'clock. Looking at the eight man picture, in division one, we have Indian Rivers, Indian River Inland Lakes traveling to Pelston to play Friday night at seven, and Newberry will be at Pickford on Saturday at one o'clock. In division two, Lakeland and Hubble, We'll make the trip down to Dickinson County to take on Powers North Central Saturday at 1 o'clock. And Rapid River will travel to Cedarsville on Friday to play at 7 p.m. So that will do it for the playoff picture. Let me find my screen share here. And that will do it for this episode of the Kingsford Flipper Flash. We went over quickly just the GNC titles and also playoffs week two so hopefully next week you're getting a uh, another fliver flash episode talking about the flivers moving on to round three until next time this is coach van dusen when in the classroom when in the community when on the field